Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. Listen, we are in the design room and we are working on our holiday gift baskets. If you haven't already started, make sure that you go ahead and get started because the holidays are a short, short time away, okay? So if you're planning on making money and you're planning on stuffing your bags for the holidays, guys, you want to go ahead and get started on your holiday gift baskets, okay? So what we're going to do today is work on a bed and breakfast basket, okay? That's what our theme of this particular basket is going to be. So if you have the supplies to make a bed and um, breakfast basket, then go ahead and grab them and let's make it together. If not, then this is a great idea that you can use for a gift basket coming up, okay? So what we're going to do is use one of our blankets that we got from Dollar General during the 90% off sale. And I think I probably paid maybe about 50 or 60 cent for this particular blanket. And all I did was took it out of the original plastic and just wrap a piece of ribbon around it, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and sit it inside of our container. If you're unfamiliar with how to build the bottom of your basket, then go back on the previous video or the prior video to this one and you will see how I um, constructed the inside of the basket to give it a sturdy foundation so that no matter how heavy um, or high your items are, it will hold your items in place, okay? I hope this is a good view for you guys. I'm gonna start back recording from behind me. I think that works a little bit better. Okay, but just bear with me on this video and we'll do it from behind on the next few videos, okay? So what we have is a blanket. Let me show you everything that I have first and then we're gonna decide what we're gonna put in and what we're not. So we have some um, mixing wooden spoons and spatula here. Um, I have some buttermilk pancake mix that I got from the Dollar Tree. I also have some syrup that I got from Dollar Tree. And of course you can use your favorite pancake mix or your favorite syrup and um, you don't even have to use pancake mix. You can use whatever you want to bread, um, breakfast related that is non-perishable. I always suggest that you use non-perishable foods in baskets that um, maybe not getting sold right away. If you check the shelf date and you have a long ways off, then by all means use whatever it is that you wanna put in your basket. But if it's something that you're making and you're gonna set it up for a few months, like I have some Valentine's baskets already made up, then I wanna be very mindful of the dates that are on the food, okay? Always double check the food dates before you sell your items, okay? Um, this is a actual sign or a little picture thing that I got from Dollar Tree and it says, if you want breakfast in the bed, then sleep in the kitchen, okay? So we got that and we also have a recipe book, just a magazine that came um, in, came to my business. It doesn't have an address or anything on it. So when I get um, magazines like this, instead of tossing them away, I keep them so that I can use them in some of my food baskets. I also have this s'more um, towel that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I also got these socks that we got from Dollar General for a penny. And last but not least, I have a bed and breakfast mug, okay? So like I said, we may not use all of these items. I just have them handy so that we can see kind of what we are going to use, okay? And we always, when we're building our baskets, you always wanna start with the heavier, taller items in the back, okay? And then build accordingly. And I can already tell you more than likely, I'm going to need to use a backing here and if you haven't been following me for a while then you do not know what a backing is or what i consider a backing is just a sturdy foundation whether it's a piece of cardboard whether it's a larger um whether it's a larger um picture or what have you in the back it just gives the item something to rest upon okay and when you get ready to wrap it it will have a sturdy foundation so we're gonna go ahead and put this book here. We may move things around. I normally um, put baskets together before I get on camera so I can kind of know where I'm gonna put things, but I did not do that for this one, okay? So we're gonna just play around with it and maybe possibly move 
um, some things around, okay? You want to make sure that your wording on your items are able to be seen as much as possible, okay? We do understand that not everything will be able to be shown, but as much as possible, you want to make sure that you can read your writing on your signs, read your writing on your bottles, so that people will know what they're getting, okay? And it will keep you from having to answer so, so many questions. You're still going to have to answer some, but you won't have to answer as many, okay? I can already tell you this is not going to work right here. Let's see if we can put this in front of the blanket and push it down just a little bit. All right, we have the socks here. Let's take the little tag thing off. I'll just roll them up real cute. We're gonna stick them right here in the front of the basket. We're gonna use our wooden spoon and spatula. Since they're tall, we can stick these right here in the back. And then we have our towel. Take the tag off of that. I'm just going to fold that up. Let me turn it around one second. Put our mug in. Okay, let's turn this back around. Okay, so we shifted it just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is get some skewers and put on the back of this picture so that I can get it to stick out a little bit. Or let's see about putting some more paper in the bottom of it to build it up a little bit. Cause I wanna make sure that they are able to see this sign, okay? Maybe we can do it without the skewers, I hope so. And then we have our bed and breakfast mug. And we're just gonna stick that in there. And we stuck the little wooden spatula and the spoon inside. It's gonna be sticking out of the blanket. So here, they can have breakfast in bed, guys. And I'm going to wrap this up off camera and show you guys what it actually looks like when I'm done. But this is just a cute, simple, um, little different type of basket you can do for the holidays. Um, a lot of people have breakfast on Christmas morning, and this would be a great addition to add to someone's wish or gift list for Christmas. But I think this would be a great, great idea, guys. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye-bye.